All right, guys, I am in off the bat just instantly incredibly happy with this palette. Like I mentioned earlier, they go on so creamy and so nice. Um, it's I'm actually very impressed. I'm more likely to try other palettes now because, like I said, I was turned off by the first palette I tried. This one, it's a completely different formula. It completely different. Even doing my lower lash line, I didn't struggle to get the pigment out of Jelly or um, I forgot the name already. Nuts about you. There was no struggle, and they blended together really nice. So the next thing we're gonna try is the eyeliner and this crazy rubber smudger. So I'm gonna try and do just a nice thin line on my lash line, and we're gonna smudge it out to kind of smoke it out in the corner. I'm not gonna go too crazy with the wing today. Um, I feel like instead of bringing the attention to the wing itself, I wanna bring more attention to the colors in the eyeshadow. So in just one second, we're gonna get this on. So it definitely went on a little thicker than I was intending to, because you, know, you have good eyeliner days, bad eyeliner days. This one's like a weird in between. So luckily we have our handy dandy smudger, and we're going to try and just clean this line up a bit and just smoke it out. Okay guys, this is like the coolest thing I've ever used because the point at the end makes it really easy to bring out to a small cat eye. I don't know if you can see this too well, but I can't even get that perfect use of the liquid liner. So I think I have my new favorite. Mwah. I'm gonna use this more. I'm, and it completely straightened out my really messy line. <laughs> Okay, let's try eye number two, see if we can get it to match. All right, so we are pretty even. And like I said, it's a creamy formula. It's got this really cool little tool at the end. Um, it was sticking to my eyelids a little bit, but I think I'm more concerned that it's more about the fact that my eyelids are really dried out right now rather than the formula itself. Um, personally, I would compare the formula to Urban Decay's 24-7 All Nightwear Eyeliner. Just a really solid, really easy to work with creamy gel. So I am really stoked for that. Now, the moment we've been waiting for. Battle of the Mascaras. Okay. So, we are going to do Better Than Sex on my right eye and Size Queen on my left. So, and then, of course, compare. See how the lift is. I hope you guys are able to tell yourselves. If not, you'll just have to trust me. <laughs> so, we all know how awesome Better Than Sex is, let's be honest here. So in just a few coats, I've got some amazing lift going on. It didn't clump or spread or do anything weird with my lower lashes. So of course, my old trusty mascara. Can't go wrong. Now, let's see. Let's see what this big guy can do. It's like such a big brush that I'm like, I don't know how I want to go in with this without getting mascara all over my face, so I apologize if this goes horribly wrong. Oh, 
horribly wrong it went. So guys, due to the size of this actual bristle brush and just for reference, it's really large, okay? It made it incredibly difficult to get close enough to the bridge of my eyelash to give it the lift. And because the bristles are so separated, they're it's really cool because they're in kind of like a twist and they're kind of wrapping around. So I can see what their strategy was with this. But like I said, due to the size, due to the space in between each bristle, it just didn't work right and it was hard to work with. And the lift itself, it just, it didn't do much. What I will say though is I do feel like this would work better with blending your lashes into your false lashes. So after you apply, the falsies use this to kind of just blend up and blend in so on the everyday I don't think I'll be using this I think you know when I'm feeling fancy and I want to put you know my mile long <laughs> false lashes on might be more helpful but I think I'll stick to my better than sex so I am I'm actually gonna use it really quick see if I could fix whatever's going on over here like I said I wish you guys can see it just a little better um, like trying to find a good angle and get a little bit closer to my camera but just the lift is just unimpressive two-faced why okay we're just gonna fix this really quick all right and better than sex to save the day <laughs> so eyes are all done last thing we are going to do is try out this lipstick so I'm used to wearing matte lipsticks, so I didn't know what to expect. Um, I have a bit of lip balm on right now because my lips do get really dry with the matte. This seems more of a satin formula, so hope I'm hoping it doesn't spread out too much, actually. I don't have a tissue box nearby or else I'd wipe my lips off, so we're just going to go for it. Alright guys, so due to the lip balm already on, it is creasing kind of bad, so I'm hoping you can't see that on film. Uh, the color, I really like it, but I had to do a couple of pass-throughs, so it's not super pigmented on the lips off the bat. Now, that also does kind of vary on your actual lip color, like if you have, you know, just naturally darker lips, it might be a little bit harder to show up, but if you have lighter lips, it's going to pop like crazy. I'm kind of in between, so I did have to do about two and a half-ish coats and then just really make sure I blended it together because it was creasing. Other than that, it feels really nice. It's a really lightweight lipstick, so you don't really feel it, which is always good. And honestly, I can see me using this a whole lot, especially during springtime when I'm definitely feeling more vibrant. Um, all in all, the only thing I was really unhappy with with this mystery box is this mascara here. Might, like I said, might come in handy might just be, you know, a total flunk, but won't see until a little bit more investigating. <laughs> so all around, really happy with this mystery box. Uh, and honestly, they're just so much fun to open. Like, yeah, especially if you're not familiar with the product. So guys, I would recommend picking one up when you see little things like this pop up. I think this was a Cyber Monday special, so unfortunately it's gone. Though in the description box, I will list everything I got in it. Um, and that includes a link to Too Faced website. So yeah, no, I'm actually, I'm really, really thrilled with this look and I love how it came out. I feel like my eyes just kind of pop right now and the purple really brings the emphasis to it. So I'm happy. <laughs> all right guys, so thanks for watching my video today. Uh, just a reminder, all the links to my social medias are listed below in the description box. So make sure you follow me on Twitter, on Snapchat, Instagram, and I have a Pinterest now, so I'm trying to do a little bit more, um, including instead of just, say, my eye look of the day or my makeup look for the day, actually the steps as well and what colors I use, what palettes, all that good stuff rather than just tagging the brands and the products that I use. So I'm trying to do a little bit more on that part. And then also, guys, I want you to leave a comment below with 
new products, old products, obscure products that you want to see reviewed. And of course I go through my comments all the time um, and I'm happy to definitely take your guys' opinions. Tell me what you want to see, I'll go pick it up and uh, I'll get a review, first impressions, whatever going. And if there's just a specific look you want to see, let me know too. Like, I love taking suggestions and, and just having options and stuff. And I've got a few fun ideas of my own coming my way. So I'm hoping to get a little more consistency again, at least one, one to two videos a week. So stay tuned, guys. And do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell below if you want a notification every time I post a video. My channel is small right now, but we're growing slowly but surely. So... <laughs> Stick around. Like I said, I got fun things coming your way.